I'm going to show you two ways to create charts inside of Excel cells to spruce up your tabular reports. Now, let's say that your manager wants you to send him this summarized table every month. Now, you've tried talking him to using a chart instead, but he insists on seeing the actual numbers. All right, how about we get him the best of both worlds? Because right now, yes, we can go figure by figure here, but it's hard to gain much information simply at a glance. So let's start by calculating the totals. I'm going to select all these cells press all equals and we've got the numbers but let's try to do something better instead I'm gonna select them and go to conditional formatting data bars and select the first option and I'm just gonna go back to conditional formatting manage rules let's edit the rule that we created I'm going to change the color to a green one here and I'm gonna select the option to show the bar only press apply press OK and we've got a nice par chart that is actually living inside of these cells. So, all right, now we have a better idea of how each product category is performing, but what about the trends by month? So let's add these here. I'm going to select all of these cells once again, and then go to insert, and in the spark lines options, I'm going to select the line, and the data range that I want to feed these trends is the data right here in my table. Press OK. Now let's just add some markers to the high and low points. And there we go. At a single glance, we can get a very good idea of how each category is performing. And we still have the original numbers that are there for reference.